Welcome to the tutor. My name is uh, Joey Bonde and I will be your tutor for electronics too. And then uh, before we can start with electronics too, I just want us to do a revision on uh, electronics too uh, because uh, where we will be going uh, it's all gonna be about uh, voltage divider they're gonna hide something on it so I'm sure most of people pass and want to do the electronics tool now if you didn't um, master very well the last chapter which is chapter 5 from uh, electronics 1 this is an opportunity for you to do a revision together with me so as I said there will be a whatsapp group for this subject and then if there is any question regarding the subject don't forget to ask because I will always gonna be available to assist you so today lesson as I say is just a revision and it's gonna be based on the voltage divider uh, bias of a transistor so this is our voltage divider circuit why do we call it voltage divider circuit let's do an example from uh, electrical one or any circuit if I have two resistors connected in series okay and then this is connected across a battery okay this is gonna be our supplier and then that will be our V1 and then V2 okay so you can see that the supplier will be equal to what if you apply Kirchhoff voltage law it's gonna be equal to V1 plus plus V2 and therefore as you can see we divide this voltage into two voltage so for instance if my supplier was 10 volt according to the load that i will have my resistance maybe i might have six volts there and then i have four volt that side so i can see that i have divided my voltage into two different voltage just by connecting two resistor in series So how do we observe that voltage divider into the circuit? Then you can look. Let's just consider our R1 and R2. So you can see that we have a voltage VC, which is VCC, the voltage across uh, that point uh, to the ground. But now we only consider the voltage from R2 to bias our transistor. Can you see that? So that's what happened. So because of that, there will be a creation of a resistor in base. R in base. R in base will be created this side here. Okay? So how do we calculate this R in base? We're just gonna take the beta BC, DC of the transistor times uh, our RE, R emitter, the resistor of the emitter okay so every time they give us a voltage divider circuit we always start by calculating our r in base and then you calculate 10 times uh, r2 r2 is that resistor of uh, the voltage divider to which we are taking we are doing the division of the voltage so once you have done this which is the first step the second step is this calculate this once you calculate this, now you have to check if your circuit is stiff or it's not stiff. What does that mean for the circuit to be stiff and not stiff? What does that mean? So the circuit to be stiff is in the case where our R in base is greater than 10 times R2. So the reason why you always calculate this first you check this is to check if your circuit is stiff and in order for your circuit to be stiff your R in base must be greater than 10 times R2 
because when this resistor it's bigger than this one what happen the maximum current will flow here and where there is a bigger resistor there will be a minimum current can you see so because of that this maximum current when you do the calculation of our uh, voltage divider V base we're gonna ignore the existence of that other in base because the maximum current is only flowing in R2 can you see that so that's what you are going to calculate you you apply your voltage divider voltage divider you're looking for the voltage drop across R2 it's gonna be V2 over the addition of R1 plus R2 times uh, the VCC the supplier voltage okay our circuit it's not stiff when this which is 10 times r2 is greater than the r in base therefore here there will be a maximum current that will be flowing i max will flow already because the i maximum is flowing in the r in base we have to consider that r in base okay we have to consider this r in base so you can see that our R2 and R in base will be now in parallel. Okay. So you do the parallel for R2 and R in base. Okay. After doing the parallel for R2 and R in base, now you can calculate your V base, which is going to be the voltage drop across the two resistors. Okay. So this will be your R2 parallel with R in base. So when you apply your voltage divider, you're going to consider this uh, parallel of the two. Okay. So you should be able to make the difference between when your circuit is stiff and your circuit is not stiff. Because the difference between the two is just about that. When it's stiff, when you're calculating the V-base, you consider the parallel of the two. But when it's, uh, uh, when it's not stiff, this is how you're going to calculate your V-base. And then when it uh, stiff, uh, you calculate your V base like that. After doing this, what comes next cal as calculation still uh, the same for the two. But always check if your circuit is stiff or not stiff. If it's stiff, you calculate your V base doing using this first formula. If it's not stiff, you calculate your V base using the second formula. And therefore, after calculating your V base, like in this case, we consider this circuit to be st stiff. That's why our V base is like this. If it was not stiff, we're gonna supposed to have a parallel here of R2 and R in base, and a parallel there of R2 and R in base. Okay. So the first thing, once we know what is the voltage drop across uh, this, this is our base. So we want to call this voltage to be the V-base. So we are going to look for VE. Okay. And how do we look for VE? It's going to be the V-base minus VBE. VBE is always given by what? The voltage VBE is always given as 0 0.7. Okay. From electro electronics one, 0 0.7 volts. That will be your VBE. Okay. And then once you get your voltage drop across VBE, because you take the bigger vector, okay, the VBE is here. This is going to be your voltage VBE there, the 0 0.7. So you take the bigger vector minus the smaller vector, and we get the VE. Once you know your VE, you apply your Ohm's law to get your EE, IE, okay? So you can see that. When you apply your Ohm's law, Ohm's law from the triangle, it's all about V, I, and R. When I'm looking for the current, it's going to be V over R. So that's why you apply there. And then it's considered to say that once you know your E, uh, your emitter voltage is, is the same as your collector voltage because the two currents are flowing through this. Can you see? So this, that's why we say your collector voltage is basically close to your emitter uh, your your, vol your collector current is basically the same as your emitter voltage and then from here now you can calculate your voltage drop across your vc okay so it's going to be vcc minus i 
CR. Okay, so this here, this here is the voltage across uh, drop across uh, VC, the resistor C. Okay, so you take the supplier minus VC. This uh, will give us the voltage collector. Voltage collector. This is our collector, and then the voltage collector will be only this part. Okay. And then when you just calculate your VCE, that's how you calculate your VCE. VCE is the voltage drop across uh, the collector and the emitter. That's what, that is where you calculate your, your VCE. Okay. And therefore, your VCE again can be calculated using this uh, formula. It's equivalent almost close to this. So this is just a small revision video. Now I'm going to use a whiteboard and take one example to do some calculation together with you this is uh, our voltage divider circuit and as i said it's all about to check if this circuit is stiff or not stiff how do we do this we need to calculate our r in base which you say is going to be 100 times uh, uh. beta DC times uh, RE beta DC is given as 100 R is given as 560 and then you continue 100 times uh, Ohm, this gives us uh, 56 kilo ohm. Okay, and therefore you calculate your 10 R2, which is going to be 10. Our R2 is given as uh, 4.6 K, and then you come here, you times it 4.6. Okay, then it's gonna give you 46 ohm. So you can see that our R in base is greater than R. R in base is uh, greater than uh, 10 R2. And then uh, our circuit uh, we call our circuit is going to be a stiff uh, circuit. So if it's still circuit, when you are calculating your base voltage, your voltage divider voltage, it's going to be all about R2 divided by R1 plus R2, all of these times our VCC. Okay, so what is our R2? Our R2 is 4.6 kilo ohm. And then R1 is... 10 kilo ohm plus um, 4.6 kilo ohm all of these times uh, our 10 volt and therefore our V B is going to be 3.151 volt okay so you see how you approach it you check if your circuit is stiff or not and then you can calculate your voltage base after calculating this, now you can look for your VE. Your VE will be given by V base minus VBE, which is the barrier of potential. Then C3.171 minus 0 0.7, which is going to give us 2.451 volts. Okay, and again. Once you know your VE, you look for your IE. IE, just voltage divider, it's going to be VE divided by your RE, which is going to be 2451 divided by, which is going to give up. And therefore, the value of our IE, it's going to be 
4.376 milliampere and now you can say our IC is going to be close to IE then it's going to be 4.376 milliampere okay after getting your IC now you can calculate your VC VC we say is going to be VCC It's going to be VCC minus IC times RC. Our VCC is given as 10 minus IC, which is 4, uh, 4.376 milliampere times uh, 1 kilo ohm. And then this uh, is going to give us a voltage of 5.624 volt. Okay? And then when you look at your VCE, VCE will be given by VC minus VE, okay? And therefore, we are going to have 5.624 minus VE, it's going to be uh, 2.451, and our VCE will be equal to... 3.173 volt okay so when it comes to the q point when you talk about the q point the q point is all about the value of your ic ic and as well our vce and in this case we get our ic ic as 4.376 uh, milliampere and then uh, vce is 3173 volt so this will be our q point so you can see, so that's the step how you do. So you should master this part and then ask question if you have any challenge, then I will go to assist you on how to approach it, okay? So as we said, if you check the circuit, okay? And we found that it was not stiff. It was not stiff. What change is just the way you calculate your uh, V base. First of all, you need to calculate your R2 parallel to are in base when it's not stiff and therefore when it's not stiff it's not stiff when our are in base it's lesser than our 10 r2 when you check the two so when you calculate your v base then you are going to consider that uh, r in base so once you master this part already you have cover a big part to electronic too okay so this is the most important part that you need to bring back to electrical to to electronics two from electronics one